Look, I'm gonna be the one to say it. Just because you have one good conversation with your homies, that does not mean that you need to start a podcast. I'm tired of dudes talking about aliens once, then thinking that they have the right to buy a Shure SM7B from Best Buy. Now they got a podcast called Alien Talks that's just uninteresting and dry. The host sucks, the friends suck, and even the podcast name sucks. You're not the next Joe Rogan, bro. Put the mic down and put the fries in the bag. <laughs> Someone's gotta say it. Remember that one relative that told you that you weren't making it to the NBA when you were like five years old? Just think of me as that. Hey, everyone needs a little bit of tough love in their life. Right. Not everyone can be nice in this world. And I'm right. gonna be the boogeyman here saying how your podcast sucks and your friends are boring. Maybe you should think twice before you take that trip to Best Buy. See, the problem is that this world is way too nice now. And now we have podcast clips of dudes talking about how they want their mothers to have good sexual experiences. Because I love my mom. I yeah. want her to come. I don't know if this is weird to say, but I want my mom to have Man, that shit. That's weird. I don't know. I love the one to skip that. I'm gonna give you some tough love right here you know this is gonna be the toughest love that you've ever felt this love is gonna be tougher than a well done steak you need to stop podcasting bro i'm sorry never in my life have i ever thought about my mom having good sexual experiences y'all are just say. odd human beings what even sparks this conversation like how do you even get to this point point? and why was this video even uploaded to the masses bro we need to start telling people no more often you know what man i'm thinking about starting a podcast no bro put the mic down at this point it needs to be easier to buy an RPG from a gun store than it is to buy a microphone from Best Buy. Because I promise you, if there were background checks for mics, we would be nowhere near this point. It feels like everyone has a podcast nowadays. And when I say everyone, I mean everyone. NBA players, rappers, children. The Hawk Tua girl just started a podcast called Talk Tua. Don't get me wrong. Shout out to her for running up a bag off that one phrase, you know? I saw that she got 30k for popping out to a club a few weeks ago. Like, kudos to her. You know, I'm gonna clap it up for her. But why would I want to hear that woman speak for two hours straight each week about current events in her life? I mean, for crying out loud, she got famous for talking about how she spits on the pee pee. Why am I supposed to care about what this woman has to say? Does she really need a podcast for saying hawk? and spit on that thing, you get me? The world could go without a podcast from this woman. You know what? Maybe I'm just hating, you know? Maybe, why, why don't I just check out one episode? You can't do it as good as Do anyway. it. You do it. No, you do it. Hot to. You, go. you gotta put like an emphasis on it, like to. You know, like really to. Yeah, say it. All right, all together. Hot to. Hot. Wait, that, that look like twins. I ain't gonna lie. She's like the skinnier version. They think they funny or something. They lame as hell. You're not funny. You're not a comedian. You're not a podcaster. You just suck. To. Hot to. Say it aggressive. Like, like hot really to. To everybody. <sighs> After watching one episode of the Talk to a Podcast, I wanted to announce that I am quitting YouTube and becoming a full-time neurosurgeon, astronaut, and monk all because of this podcast. This is one of the most enlightening podcasts that I have ever watched. And I just wanted to say thank you, Hawk Tua Girl, for opening my third eye and helping me evolve as a human being with your phenomenal podcast. I really appreciate you. All jokes aside, no hate to her. She's just capitalizing off her opportunity like any other human being would in her position. But overall, I just don't think there's anything really interesting about this woman that sets her apart from all these other podcasts out there. Yeah, she may be able to get some great guests on there because the podcast is connected to Better, which is a sports media company co-owned by Jake Paul. But at the end of the day, like the guests can only carry her so far, you know? Like I said, there's not much interesting about this woman. She got famous for saying how she spits on the nutsack, you feel me? But like I said, she's just capitalizing off of a once in a lifetime opportunity. Podcasts, after all, aren't the hardest thing to do. Podcasting is one of those things that I believe is easy to start, but hard to master. The bare minimum is to get a few mics, sit down with some friends, record, chat for a little bit, and boom, you got a podcast. Like, it's not that hard. And if you already have an audience, it makes creating a podcast even easier. Because if the audience you've garnered cares to watch you for like maybe a few seconds or a few minutes each day, they'll for sure listen to you talk for about two hours each week. So it makes sense to why so many people are starting podcasts nowadays. But like the title says, not everyone needs one. One. While some of them are good, some just feel like people talking just to talk. Like, I wouldn't even call some people's podcast a podcast. I'd rather call it Mike Terrorism. The other day, I saw a podcast clip of two dudes talking about Lefty Lucy Righty Tidy being the greatest invention of all time. Lefty Lucy Righty Tidy is the, the craziest invention of manga. I use that all the time. 
the saying lefty loosey righty tighty we just got a new machine <clears throat> Okay. It's like it's it's called an articulating log loader. Yeah, and what? It sounds like my toilet paper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's a, forks like this that picks up a log and then it can open and close on it. And the left button opens my it ears. and the right button closes it. And I literally say to myself, I'm like lefty loosey righty tighty when yeah. I need to let go or grab on. It's the lefty loosey right. I might get that tattooed on myself. Like no offense to these two dudes at all because they're probably great people. I could probably sit down, chop it up with them, eat a steak and just vibe out with these dudes. But there's gotta be something way more interesting to talk about than a saying used for when you're screwing something in. Like what's next? Are we gonna talk about bunny ears being the best method to tie your shoes or maybe even schist being the best rock there is? This conversation just feels so bland and pointless. Like if an alien were to imagine two human beings talking, I'm pretty sure you'd think of this AI generated ass convo right here. Like this is the product of podcasts being so easy to start up. We now have dudes talking about screwing mechanisms as a topic of interest. Like I don't think every conversation has to be important in a podcast, but there's no way that these dudes copped some premium podcast mics, got the setup and everything just to talk about lefty loosey righty tighty. This podcast just has no meaning at all. It's just yip and yap going back and forth about nothing. I swear these podcasts just get worse and worse, bro. Like, there's just too many podcasts now, and what more is there really to talk about? We gotta sit here and, like, just think for a second. What more is there really to talk about? Instead of having to get a degree for a job, people need to start getting a degree for a podcast. Like, let, let's just be real. Like, is there really a need for a podcast where frat dudes talk about Hawk Tua? Bro, I don't know if you heard of the Hawk Tua, girl. <laughs> yeah. Data analytics is an awesome field to get into, but there's a ton of open jobs right now. The pay is really strong. Ooh, on that thing. Thing. Bro, that blew out out of proportion. Like, I low-key think it got too big. You think? Yeah. I don't even know if I've seen the clip, but <laughs> good for her, I guess. I don't know. No, like, it's everywhere. Dude, even at, like, Old Town, you'll hear Hawk Tua remixes. Really? Yes. Bro, I, I think it's crazy that you can, like, do Nobody one little cares. thing and a clip can go viral and then all of a sudden the next day you're, like, a celebrity. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that's... That's crazy. Yo, this guy in the comment section even gets it. This man said podcast equipment should cost $1 billion. I totally agree. I'm not gonna lie, like no offense to these dudes, probably some great people, but I'd rather drag my balls through the hot Sahara desert than listen to these frat dudes talk for two hours straight. You best believe I'm serving a life sentence before I listen to Jimmy and Tom from the Beta Theta Sigma frat talk on a podcast for two hours. Like this podcast is just drier than a Popeye's biscuit. There is no energy at all to this conversation. And you may be thinking like, bro, you can't judge off of just one clip of the podcast you know this is every clip what is your favorite frat i don't know i like how big sae's parties are and like yeah. lambda but like i think asig just threw a really cool party so oh i, think, I heard dude. yeah uh -huh. kyle was just on he's an asig yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It was a That's really dope. good party. This podcast just sucks. This convo just sounds so generic and bland. No energy at all. Just, um, what's your favorite frat? I like SAA. They're big. Oh my God. I heard cows there. Like, get this off the airways, bruh. Like, what did Joe Budden say? That shit is a two pack of ass. I genuinely wish I could take back the few. You know, it's sad that Joe Budden's a better podcast than a lot of these people. It just... It just, it just go to show, man. Not everybody has the energy or the talent or the thing to do a certain thing. And it's not really putting nobody down. It's not even being mean. It's just true. It's like not everybody can be a content creator. Not everybody has the heart to do it. If you ain't got the heart to do it, then you don't need to be doing it. I'm just being honest with you. It ain't really being negative. It ain't putting nobody down. But if you can't seconds of my life i just wasted say. watching that podcast clip because now i just feel 10x dumber than what i was before i feel like one of the keys to a great podcast is an entertaining host because there's going to be boring parts to a podcast and it's up to the host to make that podcast interesting when it's getting dry but the problem with this podcast is that the host has the personality of a raw wow. chicken wing so when he talks about boring topics and he's also boring that just makes the podcast 10 times more boring another problem with everyone starting a podcast is that some people don't believe that they need to do proper research before they record like a little bit ago on twitch there was this streamer named jason the ween who hit 100,000 subscribers you know he was number two on twitch for okay. his amount of subscribers in that month and then there was this shitty tiktok podcast called the 949 podcast that decided to give their opinion on the whole situation and no they're not really knowledgeable when it comes to this whole streaming space so this was their take yeah. i think it's the new wave it's it is yeah it's just but the thing is, 
It's the new wave because of clips. Exactly, exactly. Like Jason the Ween, he guess how many live viewers he has. Just guess. Depends on the time. Just guess. Yeah, guess. Like you guys 5K? guess. Five well, K. How many live viewers do you think he got? Like, I don't like three K. Three K. So like he's like a number two, or I guess like, yeah. well he has like around fifteen to twenty. Damn. Oh. Oh wow, you know that's but pretty the, good. But to think about it, like that's nah, not I mean, that so good in terms care. of like views. That should be like live it's good for live. live. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's good for live, but think about the people in the world. It's only 15k. 15K yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Streaming is not like a mainstream thing big, yet. Big, it's only yeah. mainstream because of the clips that they put out after, yeah, mm -hmm. right. which get millions and millions of views. Right. right. But no one's actually watching that shit live. This, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, literally, bro. There's a few things that piss me off about this dookie TikTok podcast. Number one, this man is saying streaming is only big because of clips. Yeah, because nobody's going to sit there and watch an eight hour stream front to back, you idiot so to make it more digestible for the average viewer streamers and their audiences make clips so that more people can see their streams what's so bad about that another thing this man says is 15k live viewers isn't good views because the clips get millions of views that's how the internet works and 15k is good because it puts him in the top 0.1 percent of streamers like why is it surprising that a live stream has less views than a tiktok video are we becoming this slow in society where we can't comprehend that a live Live stream that you have to watch live has less views than a video where you can watch whenever this dude knows nothing about what he's talking about he's just saying a hot take because he has a mic in his face with the cameras on this podcast just sounds like one huge gossip session that's the problem with a lot of these podcasts some of them are just gossip sessions another situation of a podcast host not knowing what they're talking about is this one right here so a little bit ago there's a situation with kai sanat right he had a cameraman that was talking to an underage girl and this podcast decide to put out their take on it because hey it was a fresh topic why don't we say something about it you know why don't we do it for the clicks and engagement and this is what they had to say kai sanat everybody can't go this you need to start part, looking around and i know like black people specifically when you get some success you want to bring everybody with you but you got to be able to kind of weed that shit out what? i shouldn't know who chris v is i shouldn't know who chris next door is but chris next door is literally an amp member what do you mean that you shouldn't know who he is i should know who kai sanat is because you are the driving force in it but them I shouldn't even know who they are. I think it's important to highlight that Chris Next Door is an AMP member. If you right. guys don't know what AMP is, that is Kai Sinat's group. That's the problem. Kai Sinat shouldn't have a group. Kai Sinat joined the group before he became this huge mega streaming machine. This dude knows nothing about what he's talking about. He's just saying a hot take because he's on a podcast. Became, That's how they got on. Yeah. Having a team and making it with your team is very important. But, but if there are problematic people in there, kick them out immediately. But yes. you got to know when you are the one, like he is the one. I get it. So he cool. should abandon everybody? Yes. He did not do this alone like there was a journey of a camp of they them and i agree like this problematic person this person that was underage girls he has to go he yeah. like bye we're never speaking to you cut time now point. that we are here and it's the second third however many times something like this has happened what does he do moving forward because now this, it can't keep happening mm -hmm. you have to insulate yourself because at the end of the day that group doesn't mean anything without him that is cap because everyone actually grew themselves before they were in amp that's why it works so well as a group because everyone had their own platform before joining except for chris he kind of created his platform after but he was still pretty known but this guy just knows nothing about what he's talking about and this is my problem with so many of these podcasts like if you're gonna put out a statement on any current topic you gotta do the research to back it up you're gonna end up looking like an idiot you can't just go in willy-nilly on something that you know nothing about that's why a lot of bigger podcasts like joe rogan have someone who can fact check which is jamie on his podcast and if you can't afford someone to be in that spot you should just look it up yourself before you put out this idiotic take on something you know nothing about like there's a difference between a hot take and just a bad and uneducated take and this right here is what i consider an uneducated take because he just lacks the knowledge on what he's talking about i like how some people on the podcast are like trying to tell him like yo it's not like this it's kind of like this but he just doesn't want to listen he just decides to be ignorant i swear some people just get a mic in their face and their brains just go to mush they don't know what they're talking about i seen a dude the other day talking about how you need to stop wearing nike socks with shoes for no reason at all just because he said so stop wearing nike socks with shoes bro or um a designer shoe even if you wear nike socks with some air force ones just stop doing that bro I, i'm sorry bro i just can't see nobody wear no nike socks with a pair of shoes bro like what are you doing my i think that's crazy
What do your socks have to do with anything on your fit? I understand if somebody says stop wearing a Nike shirt with Adidas pants, like that does kind of make sense, but stop wearing Nike socks with shoes? Why? Why, why don't you tell us why? Why? I think people got to realize it's fine to have conversations without them being recorded. You know, we need to start stripping cameras and microphones away from society. Everyone has a voice, but not everyone's voice needs to be heard. And since this is a video about podcasts, there's another thing I got to get on my chest, bro. Alpha male podcast. This podcast format, honestly just needs to retire bro like when i tell you these podcasts are one of the worst things to ever hit the internet because after these podcasts hit all people would argue about is who was worse women or men i hate this whole argument because can we all just agree that men do bad things and so do women men lie and women lie are we done now like i hate this whole format of podcasts but yeah not everyone should have a podcast don't just think because you have one good conversation with your homie that you now need this full joe rogan podcast setup no you don't need that at all you don't even need a podcast Bro. what you need is a muzzle but all that being said this is going to wrap up the video if you guys made this far I uh that's it for this reaction video catch you guys in the next one